was announced last month that Elon Musk, the founder and CEO of SpaceX, has released new details about his vision for colonizing parts of the solar system, including Mars, Jupiter's moon Europa, and Saturn's moon Enceladus. As part of his ambitious plans, geared towards making humans multiplanetary in the event of a collapse of civilization, he is aiming to launch flights to Mars as soon as 2023. And along with that, he revealed the first ever Martian house that he has made for the future. Want to know more about it? Well, watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. And in today's video, we are going to tell you about the first ever Martian house that Musk is building on Earth for his future project. There are some truly ambitious details published recently in the journal New Space, but do you think they are realistic? Because it is amazing to me that someone working on the exploration of a solar system, and particularly the European Space Agency's brand new Mars rover, finds them incredible in several ways. First of all, let's not dismiss Musk as just another daydreamer from Silicon Valley. After all, he has already had tremendous success with space launches in recent years. There are several interesting ways that he proposes in his paper to reach Mars and beyond, and he aims to establish a self-sustaining city on the red planet himself. And trying to build a house without using any of the materials that ordinary Earthlings use to build houses. This is the challenge that astronauts are facing as they progress on their mission to colonize Mars. Either they will have to bring materials with them, which will be incredibly expensive and generally unreliable, what if you need a spare part? Or they will have to use the terrain of the Red Planet and make use of how inhospitable and rugged it is. NASA recently awarded a design for a 3D printed ice house as a promising tool to make a radiation-proof, safe Martian habitat using the water deposits in the Martian atmosphere. But the water will be scarce, and those settlers will be better off if they are able to survive on its surface. According to researchers at Northwestern University, sulfur concrete may be an alternative solution. For most earth concrete, the primary building block in modern construction, gravel, and cement are mixed with water. The sulfur that is widely available on Mars can replace the water and be used to bind the concrete together. A study submitted for publication in Construction and Building Materials last month and published online found that the scientists tested different mixes of simulated Martian soil with sulfur to develop the most durable concrete recipe for a home on Mars. The study noted that sulfur concrete has been around for decades, having been used in pipelines and to build artificial reefs, so the methodology was quite straightforward. This kind of Martian soil, which has the same chemical and mineralogical properties as real Martian soil, can easily be made available to anyone. So it is now time to start that Martian terrarium you've always dreamed of. The researchers heated up the concrete with sulfur in different ratios. Then, they tested the concrete physically and through computational analysis. In a study, scientists made sulfur concrete using Martian soil and found that it was twice as strong as its earthly counterpart, says corresponding author Gianluca Cusatis, an associate professor at Northwestern University's Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. According to him, the reason for this is because the sulfur bonds chemically with the minerals in Martian soil, whereas on Earth, the sulfur merely serves as glue to hold the gravel together. In addition, since the gravity on Mars is one-third of what it is on Earth, the strength is effectively tripled. In other words, this material is strong enough to construct a shelter so it can be used to make one. Moreover, this material can solidify within an hour or so. It takes at least 24 hours for fast-setting concrete to set, according to Cusatis, and it may take up to 28 days for regular concrete to set. And that makes sulfur concrete a much more attractive candidate for 3D printing which is likely to play a significant role in the construction of other planets. Probably the most significant aspect is the farm-to-table aspect of the project. Kusada said, all the materials are in situ, so there is no need to bring them, which makes the construction also sustainable. You might need a solar panel to use solar energy to melt the sulfur, but that's about it. Furthermore, the substance can be melted down and recast again, so it can be reused. In Cusatis's opinion, the main disadvantage of sulfur concrete is that it does not withstand very high temperatures. If a sulfur concrete building catches fire, the heat could cause the material to melt. So the next step will be to look at how we can engineer the concrete so that it has a higher thermal resistance. In addition, the researchers will seek to gain a deeper understanding of the chemical reactions involved in the manufacturing process and they can optimize its strength and efficiency. But it appears that the end game will be a success and NASA could send an advanced team of robots to print structures constructed from locally sourced sulfur concrete so that when humans arrive, they can instill an airtight membrane within the protective enclave. 
and having achieved this, they can relax and unwind with a guilt-free glass of Martian spring water. But we can't forget that the key part of the idea is to get cheaper access to space. The paper points out that the cost of trips to Mars has to be reduced by 5 million percent. This can be achieved if the technology for making space trips is reusable. In fact, Musk offers a great deal of evidence of the effectiveness of such an idea with the impressive landings of rocket stages back on Earth, undoubtedly a great technological step. To make the costs of living feasible on Mars and beyond it, he proposes that fuel be produced there and in stations beyond it. Currently, experiments demonstrating this are underway, which demonstrate that choosing the right propellant is crucial. In the MOXIE experiment to be carried out by NASA's Mars 2020 rover, we will explore whether we are capable of producing oxygen on Mars from atmospheric CO2. There may be a possibility for this to happen. Musk, however, would like to make methane as well. It would be much cheaper and more reusable. This, however, is a tricky reaction that requires a lot of energy to process. But so far, it all seems to be doable. Yet once those plans are made, they become even more unbelievable. As part of Musk's plan, Massive spaceships will be launched into orbit around the Earth, where they will be refueled several times by boosters launched from the ground while their mission to Mars awaits. The ships will be able to carry 100 people each, and Musk hopes to launch 1,000 such ships within the next 40 to 100 years, allowing a million people to leave Earth on a regular basis. In addition, there would be interplanetary fuel-filling stations on bodies such as Enceladus, Europa, as well as Saturn's moon Titan, where they may have been or may still be living. It is likely that fuel will be produced and stored on these moons. Essentially, the idea behind these would be to enable us to travel further into space to places such as the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud. In the future, it is proposed that the Red Dragon capsule might be used as a lander on such missions using a combination of propulsion and other technology instead of parachutes, as the most current Mars missions do. Musk plans to test this kind of landing on Mars in 2020 with an unmanned mission. However, it is unclear as to whether or not it can be done, and the amount of fuel required is also very high. So the only thing left now is to wait until Musk proves his brilliance and to trust his judgment. Undoubtedly, he will be able to come up with something that is dependable, strong, and fantastic. And it is enough to say that either Musk nor we would want to live on Earth for our whole life. And that's it for today, folks. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way. For now, we want to say thank you for watching our video. Please comment down below your thoughts about Elon Musk's first Martian house. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay happy, and we'll see you in the next video.